What's up guys and girls, Squall here, and we are looking at I Am Setsuna today. Um, it's a traditional RPG from Tokyo Games Factory. Um, it's a Square Enix based, or Square Enix owned studio that they founded basically to create traditional RPGs. So, think of games like Final Fantasy 4, 5, and 6, um, Chrono Trigger, Secret of Mana, Secret of Evermore, things like that. Um, those traditional RPGs from the Super Nintendo uh, early PlayStation 1 era. Um, so this game is going to draw a lot of inspiration from those. And uh, from what I've seen, the art style looks very cool. We're going to start a new game here. Uh, new game will be started, yes. I started an older game, or a, a, a past game, just to kind of test some settings here. But um, didn't get very far, so don't worry about that. Do you want to turn on in-game voices? Yes, we do. And let's get into it. Hmm, it seems you live up to the rumors. A natural mercenary. Or... Perhaps my own skills as a mercenary simply grow weak. I am Hesper. Hep Hepsper? Hepsper. I will be working with you on this mission. What is your name? Do you want to change Endier's name? Now, I'm going to say no. Because for traditional RPGs, I don't change names. I feel like it's, it's you know, someone wrote the story with a character in mind, with a character's name in mind. So I just don't change the name. So no, we're going to go with Endear. Nice to be working with you, Endear. And I'm not sure if it's Endear or Endure, but I'm going to say Endear. <clears throat> Our mission is to recover a young girl who's been kidnapped by monsters. Your job will be to exterminate any monsters we encounter along the way. Once we are done, I shall return the girl to the client, to our client. And just, I'm going to do some voices, but they may change throughout the, the recording, so don't, or, or the series, don't, you know, be a dick about it. <laughs> of course. If she is still alive, that is. Let us begin right away. Are you ready to go? Uh, you need to ask, or how about you? Uh, I'm going to say you need to ask. I'm gonna, he's kind of a stoic guy, I think. I'm gonna I'm gonna be kind of aloof, so I'll be like, you need to ask. <laughs> You're a feisty one, eh, Endear? Of course, I won't be getting involved in combat except in advisory capacity. It'll be a good chance for me to see your ability. Come on, let's go. Okay. Oh, oh, I can move now. Okay, cool. So here we go. I can move now. I like the walking through the snow sound in the little um, trail you leave behind you there. Oh, there's a little penguin. Our first enemy. Cool. It seems we've already entered their territory. Time to get to work, Indier. Ready to go? Of course. Of course I'm ready. Dude's always ready. I'm a mercenary. I'm not, I'm not joking around here, folks. I'm ready to go. Moment's notice. Draw the sword. Let's do this. Good. I knew I could count on you. A puny foe, but you can never be too careful. If you approach without it noticing, you should be able to strike first. Uh, encounter. So when you move within a certain uh, distance of a monster, battle will begin. If you approach monster from the front, you will enter, or they will enter guard mode. However, if you approach them from behind, their guard will be down. The, you will then start a battle with full ATB and SP gauges, allowing you to make a preemptive attack. The ATB and S P gauges are both essential for combat, and they will be explained later. So ATB is active time battle, obviously, we know from all the past RPGs. And SP, um, I'm assuming it's like mana. I don't know what it stands for in this game, but I'm assuming it's like your, your mana or your stamina. So, in combat, tactics are everything. Stay calm and focused at all times. Active, there you go, active time battle, ATB. Uh, once battle begins, your character's ATB active time battle gauge, gauges, which are displayed in the bottom of the screen, will start to fill. Fill up. Uh, once one of your character's gauges is full, his or her command list will be displayed. Select a command and a target, and the character will perform that action. When more than one character has a full ATB gauge, you can press the left and right directional buttons, or move the left stick left and right to switch between characters. 
Although they aren't displayed on the screen, monsters also have ATB gauges and will perform actions once they are full. Cool. Of course, I am sure you will be ready, or you're already well aware of this. Because I'm a seasoned mercenary, of course. Here it comes. Oh, I like the little Japanese voice. I'm guessing that's what they mean by Indian voices. They're probably all in Japanese because it's a Japanese game. Which is fine. This guy's taking a beating for a, you know, puny foe that he called it. There we go. And we got four experience. Awesome. Justice Crest. So it is, it's very reminiscent of, of older, you know, turn-based combat. Like, uh, again, Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy 4, 5, and 6. Um, so... I'm liking it so far. You obviously know what you're doing. You should be safe for now. We should be safe for now. Let us head on. Okay. Walking through the snow here. Oh, two more. There are more of them. There are more of them than before. Use the tech to take them all at once. You have Sprite Knight stones on you, I presume. Spirit Knight stones. Yeah. No, Sprite Knight. Okay, Sprite. Sprite Knight? Sprite Knight what? <laughs> you mean to say you've never used Sprite Knight? What astonishing natural talent you have, you must possess. See, so Cyclone from Hasper. Hapspur. It just seems like a weird name, Hapspur, but whatever. So I'm missing Cyclone are gonna be like Tex and Chrono Trigger. I'm gonna pair this game I'm gonna compare this game a lot to Chrono Trigger just because that's one of my beloved games growing up and I know it draws a lot of inspiration or this game draws a lot of inspiration from Chrono Trigger, so. Equipping Sprite Knight allows you to use Tex. Try that stone out. Okay. So a Sprite Knight are stones that imbued that are imbued with magical energy. Equipping them allows your character to open to obtain a wide range of powers. There are two types of Sprite Knight. Command Sprite Knight allows your characters to use different techs during battle and from the tech menu, while Support Sprite Knight grants effects that occur automatically during battle. Sprite Knight can be equipped from the menu. This is done by inserting them into slots contained in talismans. Uh, at first, your characters will have one slot, but they will gain more as levels increase and by equipping different talismans. There are three types of slots. One for Command Sprite Knight, one for Support Sprite Knight, and one that can be used to equip either type of Sprite Knight. Just having it in your possession is not enough. You must not forget to equip it. Alright, so we go to Talismans, I guess? There we go, and then... Oh no, oh no, I guess we go to Sprite Knight. All Sprite Knight. There we go, okay, so now we've inserted the Cyclone. Be careful. Alright, so let's do some Cyclone and mess these boys up. Tech, Cyclone, Pengi. Oh, it hits both of them, that's nice. It's slapping me around. Come on. Cyclone again. There we go. Two kills at once, nice. An 8 XP. Which makes sense, because the last one gave us four, so now there's two of them. We got a Majestic Crest and a Sturdy Metal sh Sheet Metal. Okay. So I'm wondering if there's crafting in this game. Um, maybe we can use that to, to upgrade our weapons or armor. That'd be cool. Nice job. Come, let us hurry up. Yeah, let's find this girl and, and get her back to... Oh, save point. Get that girl back to whoever we need to get her back to with the client. A glowing ring of light. You can sense a faint magical energy emanating from inside it. What is the matter? What's this? Hmm? What is what? Sense the presence of monsters further inside the woods, did you? All the more reason for us to hurry on. So obviously he can't see the, the save point, only I can. Save points, here we go. Save points are rings of light found, around, found in area maps that allow you to record your current progress in the game. 
If you step inside these rings of light and press the X button, you'll be asked whether or not you want to save your progress. Alternatively, you can open the main menu while inside the ring and select the save option. Save points are only found in certain points within area maps. However, when on the world map, which you can reach later on in the game, you'll be able to save your progress at any time from the main menu. Please note that this game does not save automatically. Making sure you have save, making sure you save regularly will be essential to your journey's process. So again, they're going the traditional route of no, not saving automatically like most modern games do and having save points at certain placed areas, but then whenever you're in the, the, the world map, you can save it whenever you want. So, again, going the traditional route, really like it. Very cool. Uh, so let's save our progress real quick. And so you can see I have uh, other games here. I'm just going to save over it. Just This is those were just uh, from testing some settings and stuff. Okay, good to go. All right. Whew, she's still breathing. So that's obviously the girl we're looking for. Doesn't really look like a girl to me, but it will, you know. <laughs> Although not for long at this rate. Oh, shit. Giant polar bear looking thing? Another one, and much more powerful this time. It doesn't look like we'll be getting out of here alive without defeating it. No matter how powerful, every foe has its moments of weakness. You must seize such moments to strike. Momentum mode. When a character's ATB gauge is full, but you haven't selected but you haven't yet selected a command, the round SP special power gauge to the right will start to fill will start to fill up. Uh, it will also be filled when your characters perform actions or take damage. Once it is full, it will flash, and one SP point will appear at the top. The gauge will then be reset and will start to fill up from the bottom once more. The maximum number of H or the mass maximum number of SP points is three. When a character has at least one SP point, you can trigger momentum mode to add various additional effects to attacks and techs. Just as one of your characters performs an action, a light will appear above them, and pressing the square button at that moment will trigger momentum mode. Okay. Uh, trigger momentum mode will add various additional effects to your techs and combos. Triggering it when attacking will add additional damage, generate critical hits, and inflict status ailments. Trigger it when using healing or support text will recover additional HP MP, increase the text range, and increase the duration of status effects. During battle, special bonuses that affect your whole party will sometimes occur randomly. This is known as a singularity. There are various different bonuses, and one that occurs is and the one that occurs is chosen randomly. The more you use momentum mode, the greater the chance of singularity occurring. Once or during long battles, make sure to use momentum mode as much as possible. All right, fair enough. <coughs> Excuse me, there, guys. You have one last piece of work to take care of, Ender. I'm counting on you. So I'm fighting this guy alone. For some reason, this, the the old dude's not helping me. Let's use uh, let's use cyclone on him. Okay. So I guess I should um, wait for my gauge to fill and then chill. There, oh, come on. There we go. Okay, so now I got an SP point. Oh, uh, I missed it. Try this again. There we go. Okay, so it adds physical damage. I wonder if that only occurs for that one time. Probably. Oh, well, he's dead. Okay. Right. That was pretty easy. So 51 experience, and we gained level 2. Awesome. We got some beehive... We got a beehive claw and some high-grade honey. I don't know what a beehive claw would be, but... Hmm? Hmm? Huh? What's... You don't need to worry, or we're here to save you. I'm gonna say we're here to save you. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the hero route. We're here to save you. To save me? The the monsters. Where are the monsters? Do not worry. He took care of them. 
Oh, so, I'm safe? Thank you. But, why? Uh, I'm gonna say that's our job. I don't wanna be too much of a dick. Your job? That's right. We are from a tribe of people who make a living as mercenaries. We came here because we're hired by your father. I see. Thank you so much. I'll, I'll be able to see everyone again. Thank goodness. Thank you. Thank you so much. Take this, Endear. See, 5,000 gold, or G, I'm assuming gold, from Half Spear. 5,000, that's a nice payday, man. Thank you, we'll take that. That is your share. Now then. It's time for us to go our separate ways, Endear. I shall take this girl back to her father. Take care, Endear. So, uh, we're just staying out in the cold. He's going to take the girl back and we're just chilling. Tell me, Endear. How long do you plan on staying in this line of work? Um, till the day I die, or never I'd never really thought about it. What do you say I've never thought about it? How strong you are, Endear. Even if some very difficult decisions are forced upon you, I am sure you will prevail. prevail. Please treasure your time. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to treasure it. Ooh, a little music change. A little mysterious dude up in the corner, in the middle of the woods, presumably. Um, draw your sword, draw your sword, be on your guard. You know what, guys? We are going to end the episode here. We'll find out who this mysterious guy is and what we're going to do in the next episode. Um, as always, be sure to like, subscribe, share the video. It really helps me out. Uh, if you have any questions or just want to talk, shoot a comment down below. Check me out on Twitter. I really appreciate it, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.